Morning guys, girls, for those of you who haven't decided yet. Um, strange post today. Um, today is potentially my last day at work for however long. Um, I don't know um, because I think we're going to be put on furlough. And uh, yeah, it's just a really strange feeling. I had a, I had a really bad night's sleep. Um, didn't sleep very well at all. Um, woken up with a headache. I don't know whether it's tension or just, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's anything more um, sinister than that, to be honest with you. But yeah, so woken up just feeling very, very, very tearful today. And yeah, it's, I suppose it's just accepting that you know, this is really not going to go away. And we're all in this together. And I think that that makes it, sorry, that makes it more bearable is that every single person in this whole country, in the whole world, is being affected by what's going on at the moment. And again, that makes it more bearable because I know recently I've had, you know, this earlier this year, I went through a really difficult um, patch and, you know, things, I felt very, very low about a lot of things, money or lack of money particularly, broken boiler and various other things. And that was really, really hard to deal with because I just felt so alone and I just felt like I was the only person going through this. And I, um, a couple of really good friends got me through it who were just amazing, did some food shopping for me because it really wasn't in a good place at all. And they know who they are and I will never, ever forget that that kindness. Um, but and that but that felt very very isolating and again worries me and this is only happening to me etc. But this is very very different how we're how we're all feeling and speaking to so many people I'm trying to trying to FaceTime at least one person a day to just kind of reconnect and just say hi, see how everyone's feeling because the phone or texting is is not very personal. So as I say, FaceTiming, you know, feels like, you know, you're just reconnecting, trying to speak to my boys as well on FaceTime, even though they're probably like, oh God, we should leave us alone. Annoying mum, um, but I am missing them terribly and that's quite hard, not knowing when I'm next going to see them as well. But as I said, going back to potentially this is my last day of work is very weird. I mean, I miss my job as a personal stylist. More than I can ever imagine, but I'm trying to be positive and I'm doing online styling, virtual styling. I did my first one uh, yesterday. It was really, really successful. And I've got another one booked in tomorrow for a chap. Um, so I think this will this will be my kind of contribution and helping people feel better, you know, with what's going on. Um, as well, I'm going to do some voluntary work as well. And um, that's, you know, as I say, if I do go to furlough, then that's what I'm going to do. Uh, in the community, I just want to feel like I'm doing my, my best. I'm not someone who can just sit around. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to sort of check in and see how everyone's feeling, how everyone's dealing with, you know, being put on furlough or, you know, whatever's happening in your in your job situation. Because let's be honest, that's the thing that is probably affecting us the most, the lack of money, lack of security, all, you know, all those sorts of factors. And uh, yeah, I'm just... Oh, really trying to hold it together today so yeah just stay strong guys and girls and uh, we're in this together and I say you know um, if you can stay home stay safe and uh, you know let's just give each other lots of love and support and please just try and check in with each just check in with one or two people every day FaceTime it really does make it real 